The Young People's Party wants to rebalance the economy towards young people who they say are the most productive in society. They want to replace all taxes with a single land value tax based on the rental value of land. They'd like to cut all taxes on private income. They'd also like to roll welfare payments into a universal citizen's income that everyone is entitled to. On law and order, they would make release from prison dependent on achieving rehabilitation goals rather than specifying a length of time to be served. Well, we've been joined in the studio by Thomas Hall. Welcome to Good The afternoon. Daily Politics. You say you want to rebalance society in favour of what you call the productive society, in your mind, younger people. Why do you want to pit the generations against each other? Um, so, uh, we, don't, we don't want to pit generations against each other at all. I mean, old, old people um, have young children and young children or younger people have older relatives and friends. And the, the real question is whether we, we pitch um, the funding of public services from um, those that contribute to the economy through their work or those that, that collect the benefits of uh, the country for free um, through rents. Right, but you want to ultimately replace all taxes with a single land value tax. I mean, it may be very simple, but it's hardly fair, is it? Well, we believe that, that land value tax is the fairest tax of all, and our views are... Well, supported over, over the ages by such great politicians as Winston Churchill, um, economists like Adam Smith and Joseph Stiglitz more recently. Um, and many, many commentators have, have argued that a land value tax is the least bad tax. Right, but it doesn't actually take any of the differences or variations in the population, where they live, how, their incomes and what they do. Well, actually, um, you know, I, I, I'd say that quite the opposite, in that those, those that occupy valuable location um, currently enjoy that, um, that value that's added by all of society for free. Um, with you know, council tax is there, but it's uh, a very regressive tax. Right, but couldn't and you just improve on council tax? Well, in, indeed. In fact, one one very sensible way of, of um, ending up with the results that we're after would be a revaluation of the council tax bans, um, you know, which hasn't been done since 1991. Uh, with probably putting a few more uh, bans on the top end as well. Right, and successive governments have obviously shied away uh, from doing that. But basically, you want to tax wealth and assets and not income. Well, so we don't, we don't see land as a tr an asset in the traditional sense. And so we, we really want to um, um, identify those assets which are property in the sense that someone has made them and put their work into them and that they really are theirs from naturally occurring um, gifts of nature, if you like, that everyone contributes to the value of them. And you know, we, see, we see in policies from other parties that uh, certain, certain industries are in line for nationalisation and others aren't. And, and you always ask, well, why one, not the other? And it really comes down to rent. We understand that a water company is different from a sofa manufacturer, for example. Right, but the Labour Party manifesto says the party is considering looking at a land value tax to replace council tax and business rates. The Conservatives are calling it a garden tax. Would you support that? Um, so we do believe that a land value tax to replace council tax and business rates would be a step in the right direction. I think where the Young People's Party stands apart from the Labour Party is we are proposing that our tax would be a replacement of far more than council tax and business rates. We, we would raise 200 billion from a, from a residential uh, land value tax and that with that we would be able to replace council tax, stamp duty land tax, inheritance tax, um, insurance premium tax, national insurance, employers national insurance, uh, you know, a whole host of other small, annoying, difficult taxes as well. Would you back a revaluation of council tax and properties in this country? No, I think... Why not? I mean, it isn't fair, is it, if it hasn't been done since 1991? Well, I think that... Um, the first thing is that when you have revaluations of any tax, um, then sometimes you find that uh, you create uh, new winners and new losers and new unfairnesses. The thing about the land value tax is that it's an interesting idea, um, and um, as we've heard, it's been one that's been championed in the past by some distinguished figures, but it's always been one that's been championed by opposition parties, it was particularly championed, of course, by the Liberals in the 1920s and 1930s. Uh, but then when people have been in government, they found that the, the process of bringing about a land value tax for a variety of reasons hasn't been quite as easy as they might have hoped. But just because it's difficult <coughs> doesn't mean it isn't right. I mean, 
why well, is it that the focus has been on taxing income rather than people's assets? If you live in London and the South East, no. your asset has probably earned you a lot more money uh, in some places than the money you earn from your job. I, th I think that the best form of taxation is to tax both assets um, uh, and income and to spread taxation um, and the, the, the taxation base as widely as possible. However elegant, and I admire the intellectual clarity of the Young People's Party's position, nevertheless, putting all your eggs in one taxation basket can be, can be risky. Right. Do you accept that? Well, um, no. I mean, otherwise, we, we wouldn't be, be pitching this. I mean, the, the ultimately, all value is derived from the land we live on. Without it, there would be no value at all. And all the taxes that we currently have on income or on capital gain or all, all these, other, these other taxes ultimately are derived from you know, value in, in the country that we live in. And so we think that we would be able to simplify the, the tax system from 16,000 pages down to about 100. Uh, thus and all parties claim to, to be able to do that, except when they get into government, they make it more complicated. In, indeed. Um, and there must be a reason for that, wasn't there? Well, yes, and that is that our current economy is based around a small number of people who uh, benefit from the current situation against the, the rapidly diminishing number of home owners uh, in the young population um, who don't.